Perfect. Okay. And now I'm going to be you, right, Tabitha? You are you. Oh, no, it says it popped him back to organizer. No, it's okay. I got it. There you go. Okay. Okay. There you are. Good to go. All right. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to make sure that my AV is working. I had a couple of issues right before I jumped in the room. So if you can hear my voice coming in loud and clear, uh, please do me a small favor. Head over to your questions box and just type in the words yes. You should be hearing my voice and you should see a bluish purplish screen. Fantastic. Wow. Okay. So I got in a little bit of a panic. You know, with these live events, something always comes up. Murphy is always there. But anyways, now that you can hear me, um, first things first, that questions box is going to be very, very important because throughout this live training session, I'm going to be asking some questions of you folks as a group. And you're also going to have questions for me. So that's the way we're going to communicate back and forth. So keep your keyboard handy in case you have a question. Now, um, first things first, we're going to be talking about trading, and I don't think I need to say this, but I'm going to say this anyways. I mean, here's the reality. I've heard all the stories out there, uh, you know, about these multimillionaires that trade penny stocks and they make the money overnight. Folks, that stuff's not real. It makes me very unpopular in certain circles, but here's the reality. Trading is difficult, and it involves a substantial degree of risk, and because of that, please, only trade with capital that, first of all, you can afford to lose, and then, if you are trading, make sure you protect that capital at all costs. Use good money management and stop losses. So um, because we're off to a bit of a late start, normally I'd give you my background, but uh, I'm gonna keep this really brief. This is me on the screen. My name is Eric. I used to be a professional trader and throughout my career, I worked up to the position of senior VP of investments with a very prestigious Wall Street firm. They actually have the second oldest seat on the exchange. To say that I've learned a thing or two about trading would probably be an understatement. But um, the reason I'm sharing this with you is I'm going to give you some heavy insight into what I've learned when I was behind the scenes. So take a lot of notes, ask a lot of questions. So now that you know who I am, I want to spend just a moment talking about the people that have made this possible. So I'm going to draw your attention to the right hand side of the screen. That gentleman that you see there, that's Lewis Mendelson. He is the founder of Vantage Point, and he's the reason we're all together tonight. Um, Lewis is the very first person to make backtesting software available to the general public. So if you've ever done any type of strategy backtesting in the financial markets, you actually owe that man a, a shout of thanks, if you will, because he's the person that started the industry. But he realized that he was just on the tip of what he could do. And he turned back to the education when he was at Carnegie Mellon that he was receiving, and he realized I could use artificial intelligence to do this, and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you tonight. Now, for the man on the left-hand side of the screen, I want to bring you into present day. That's Lane Mendelson. He's Lou's oldest son. He also happens to be the president of Vantage Point. Now, some of you may already know him because he's all over the airways, but some of you may not. So I've got a quick little video that I think is going to lay some foundation for where we're going. So let me go ahead and cue this up. It only runs about a minute or so. And then I promise the moment this is done, I'm going to be right back and I'm going to jump in to the AI piece. So let me go ahead and load this and uh, go ahead and turn your speakers up so that you can hear this and I'll be right back. Lane Mendelson's company has developed a way to transform the lives of people Lane Mendelson, the president of Vantage Point Software. Lane Mendelson. Lane Mendelson. Lane Mendelson, president of Vantage Point AI. Joining me in the studio today is Lane Mendelson. And with me today, Lane Mendelson, the president of Vantage Point AI. Your artificial intelligence software was able to predict the January market drop. Your company uh, forecasted that the tech stocks erased all the gains for the year. What's the criteria you use at Vantage Point when you look at a stock? We're doing a very advanced form of pattern recognition using artificial intelligence. My company's been involved with artificial intelligence for 30 years. This is the future. You're talking about thousands and thousands of data points being analyzed every single day. A human could not do this. If you're not analyzing all of those other factors, you're not seeing the full picture. 
to really gain an edge in today's global markets, you have to have a global approach. Vintage Point Software 的主席 Len， 那他和我们一起分享一下股票投资。It's all about having the odds in your favor. Our focus is the technology. In the last 10 years, we've spent over 10 million dollars in research and development, developing the technology. We actually been forecasting the retail stocks to go up for about a week now. A couple of days ago, we said tech stocks were going to start to go up, and look what today happened. I mean, the Dow had、uh, a tremendous day today. Our philosophy is: if we can't predict it with a very high degree of accuracy, why bother? There are so many other stocks that we can forecast with such a high degree of accuracy. And one of the things that I like about you personally, Lane, is that you really are a family guy. I think that it's most important that、um, that you spend time with family. You teach values.、Uh, my daughter knows all of our core values for our company, and the first one is integrity. We're going to continue to refine, develop, and make this product so that everybody in the world who wants to have financial freedom can easily benefit from it. All right. So hopefully everyone was able to hear and see the video. And I apologize for a little bit of a late start, folks. So I'm going to rush through this fairly quickly, just over the next couple of sessions, or excuse me, sections. And the reason I'm going to do that is I know we have about an hour time limit together. We also have a lot going on in the world right now. So、um, the first things first. Let me go ahead and switch screens. Now that you know who we are, I want to get to know you as a group a little better. Okay. So I've got a couple questions for you. Here's the first question. On a scale of one to ten, where do you currently place your level of trading knowledge? One could mean you're brand new. Ten could mean you know what you're not even sure why you're on this webinar. I mean you've learned everything there is to learn. Where do you currently find yourself? Give me a, a feel for that. One to ten. And the reason I'm asking for this is I want to adjust my talk track, by the way, because I could speak to a bunch of PhDs or brand new neophytes that are just learning how to trade. But I want to figure out where you folks are. Okay, so keep them coming in. Um, actually, this looks like a much more advanced group, and this is awesome. I love this. Seven and a half, eights. I got some nines. Three to four. I got a couple of new people.、Uh, keep them coming in, folks. So you know, unless I see something on the lower end, I'm going to give you guys about a seven across the board. That's good to know. So we're going to have a lot of fun together. I love talking to intelligent traders. Now, here's my next question: What asset class do you primarily trade? Is it stocks, ETFs, futures, commodities, or Currencies, even cryptocurrencies.、Uh, and by the way, everything that I just mentioned, we forecast for with a very high degree of accuracy, and you'll soon understand why. Okay, so I'm seeing options, commodities, ETF stocks, ETF stocks, currencies, options, stocks, 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 stocks and options,、uh, stocks, ETFs, forex, cryptos. Wow, there are a lot of equity traders in the rooms. Okay, so looks like we've got a lot of stock and option traders.、Uh, someone's saying no sound now.、Um, Okay, stocks and options, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to keep our talk tracks、uh, centered around the equities market. But understand, everything that I'm going to share with you, and thank you, John. I see that you said sounds good.、Um, everything that I'm going to share with you can be universally applied across all of those asset classes. Now, here's a big question: If I could fix the biggest challenge that you're currently experiencing, If you had to choose one, what would it be? Would it be picking the better opportunities to trade? Because sometimes we struggle with that, right? We don't know what to trade. Or would it be fixing the timing on the opportunities that you are finding? So opportunities or timing. Let me get a feel for that. Entry and exit. Thank you, John.、Uh, timing, 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 timing. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so、uh, you know it's funny. Sometimes this is—it、uh, seems like a loaded question, but it's not.、Uh, half the people usually say both. Right now, I'm seeing about 70% saying timing.、Uh, a couple of people saying both. Timing as I take losses when I should hold. Okay, Troy, you're going to want to sit sit tight. I'm going to show you how to fix those problems. Okay, so folks, here's the good news. I'm going to show you how to fix both of those. But before I do, I've got one final question for you, and this is important. How many of you would agree that? The markets that we currently find ourselves trading in are global, that they're interconnected, and that they're influencing one another. If you agree with that statement, just give me a yes. And if you don't, I want to know that as well. But I don't want to waste anyone's time because everything that I'm about to share with you revolves around that principle that these markets are global. Okay, excellent. So、uh, you know what? I don't even need to read the rest of the responses. I've not seen one person say no. So. The reality is, you're all correct. The markets are global; they are all interconnected. But that causes a problem for us as traders. And here's what I mean: you see, these are not the same markets they were 30, 40, 50 years ago. Even when I got in the business, 30 years ago. 
they're all interconnected. And the reason for that is information is being shared instantly, which changes our minds about what's going on. The problem there though is we find ourselves in a new frontier, but we're using the same outdated strategies. I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now. So if you have a notepad, I'm gonna strongly encourage you to write this term down. It's called inner market analysis. Now I'm gonna take a moment and define what this is. Then I'm gonna tell you why it's so important. Inner market analysis is simply being able to study the relationships between connected markets. Now, for a lot of you that have heard this term before, you're gonna instantly recognize this. This is one of the best forms of technical analysis that exist, but it's also the most challenging. I'm gonna show you a very simple way of doing this. I want you to pay attention to your screen because I'm gonna load up a couple charts. I just put up AMD and the E-mini NASDAQ. Folks, look at these charts and notice how they're trending in the same direction at the same time. Now, the reason that this is important is because these markets are influencing one another. Two completely different markets, AMD is a stock, the E-mini NASDAQ, that's a futures market, yet they're almost identical. I mean, they're moving in the same direction at the same time. Now, the reason this is important is if I were thinking about trading either of these markets and I realized that they shared that connection, I would look at what the other market was doing first. Let me give you a better example though. Look at your screen. Here's the financial sector ETF. Let me get a line on Bank of America real quick. Okay, follow the lines. Look at the charts. Notice just how similar these markets are. In fact, dare I say, they're almost identical. I mean, they're not, clearly, two different markets. But folks, they are so close. There is an undeniable relationship taking place between these two markets. Let me tell you why this is so important. Right now, I don't care what it is you trade. If you told me you're trading options or stocks or ETFs or futures or commodities, regardless of the asset class, right now, this very second, there are markets out there that look just like this compared to what it is you're trading. Wouldn't you like to know what they are? Think about that. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about these relationships that exist, but let me give you a different type of a relationship. Here's the S&P 500 and gold. Now, this is known as an inverse relationship, which means that these markets don't play well together. They actually move in opposite directions. And the reason this is so important is whether you realize it or not, these patterns are everywhere in the financial markets on every asset class. And this very second in time, there are things out there where regardless of what it is you just bought today, if those other markets were to go down, it would have a positive impact on what you're trading. But folks, you gotta look at the other side. If those other markets were to go up in value, it would have a negative impact on what it is you're trading. Now I'm gonna ask a bit of a loaded question and it's more of a rhetorical one, but if you knew there was something else out there that had that type of cause and effect relationship on the very things that you trade, wouldn't you pay attention to it first? Of course you would, right? It's a, it's, it's a simple question, but here's the problem. There's so much information out there, it's impossible for us to find these relationships. And that's why I have an iceberg on the screen. You see, this iceberg actually represents what's truly driving and impacting the very things that we trade. Now, let me get the writing up on the screen so you can see this. The reason I chose an iceberg is because as individual traders, we're only paying attention to surface level relationships that we can see. And these are things that logically make sense to us. But here's the problem there we're only looking at about 10 to 15% of what's really there. You see the bulk is hidden beneath the surface and that accounts for the vast majority of what's really there. And unfortunately, if we're not using the right technology, we're never gonna see it. And I'm gonna give you an example of what I mean. I have an iceberg up here because it reminds me of the Titanic. Now we all know the history there, but here's, here's something you may not have known. They steered away from the tip of the iceberg. They never touched it but they slammed into what lurked beneath the surface. And the reason they hit the ice is because they weren't using sonar. They didn't have that technology. Well, you see, when it comes to the financial markets, this plays out every single day though, because there are so many times where we buy individual stocks or ETFs or commodities or whatever it is you're trading, it doesn't really matter. We're buying them based on the research that we're doing, yet, the trade doesn't work out. And in fact, it goes against us. And as we try to find out what's driving it against us, we come up blank. Well, folks, I gotta tell you something. I'm gonna bail you out for a moment. It has nothing to do with what you're looking at. It has everything to do with what you're not looking at. You see, because you're only paying attention to a fraction of what's really driving it. 
the bulk of what's really moving that market is hidden beneath the surface. And that's why artificial intelligence is needed to find these patterns, to find these relationships. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna open all of your eyes and show you what you've been missing. So I'm gonna do some inner market analysis right now. If you stepped away from your computer, run back real quick because I'm not gonna be able to back up because I'm a little behind schedule. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform some live inner market analysis right now. Folks, this is Vantage Point. Now, we're gonna look at a stock, a very simple one. We're gonna look at an airline stock, Southwest Airlines. Let me go ahead and pull this up on the screen for a moment. And I'm gonna ask the software to actually figure out what's driving, impacting, and influencing this particular stock. So let me expand the screen for just a moment. I want everyone to see this. And then I'm gonna walk you through what the software is doing. Now, this is where you're gonna to wanna to pay very close attention to everything that I say. Okay, so right now I've just tasked the software with analyzing Southwest. And what it's doing is it's comparing Southwest to 10,000 individual markets. Think about that, folks. 10,000 markets, and it's doing a side-by-side -side comparison of each of those markets and Southwest. What it's looking for are patterns and relationships that exist, and once it finds them, it is able to mathematically and scientifically stack rank those markets so that it can figure out which of those markets have the biggest impact. Now, once it does that, it reduces that list to the top 31 markets that have been mathematically and scientifically proven to have the largest degree of impact. I'm gonna share that with you right now. Look at your screen. All right, let me go ahead and expand this just a little bit. And I'm gonna grab my drawing tool. I'm gonna to go through this pretty quickly, but I think this is gonna have some impact and it'll make a lot of sense to you. So follow me for just a moment. I just told you that whatever, whatever it is you're trading, it's, you know, it's being driven by something that resembles an iceberg. You're paying attention to things that are above the surface, but you're not paying attention to what's beneath the surface. Well, here's the iceberg for Southwest. Look at it, it's right in the center. And let me talk about some surface level relationships for just a moment. Look at this, American Airlines, Alaskan Air. If I look down here, I see Delta Air. I see uh, JetBlue. And actually I see one more that I skipped, United. These are airline stocks. Clearly, airline stocks are gonna impact other airline stocks. I mean, after all, they're in the same sector, right? And you're smart, you already know this. But I want you to understand something. I've tasked the software with finding the top 31 markets. It's only shown me five airlines. In fact, it's switched directions completely. It started to look at different things. It's found a different transportation company, PAM Transportation Services. Folks, if you're not familiar with PAM, that's a trucking company. Look at this one right here, Norfolk Southern. That's a railroad company, yet that's having an impact on Southwest. And then the software completely switches gears because it says, well, you know what? We're done looking at these patterns in the transportation sector. Let's look at that sector as a whole. And it realizes, well, wait a second, there's a huge connection between the Dow Jones transportation average, as well as the S&P transportation ETF. Now, not to use funny puns, but it is late, so I'm gonna use one. What fuels the entire transportation sector as a whole? Well, how about things like, I don't know, natural gas, light sweet crude oil. You see, it's already found those patterns because it's doing that side-by-side -side comparison. And then when it gets off of the transportation sector, because you'll realize nothing else on here is even involved in the transport sector. Now it's looking at different things. It's looking at interest rates. 10-year US Treasury notes. It's looking at global currencies, things like the dollar, the euro, the Japanese yen. Folks, it's even looking at gold. Think about this. But here's where this gets wildly fascinating. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my screen for a moment because I got a lot of chicken scratch up here and bear with me. It's funny, the faster I talk, the faster I draw and I make a mess out of everything. So please, uh, and folks, am I going too quick? Go to your questions box real quick. I mean, I, I can slow down a little bit, but I wanna make sure that I can get all of this information covered. If, if I'm talking too fast for you, I tend to be a really hyper individual. I drink a lot of coffee. Um, if you need me to slow down, tell me to, and I will, okay? Because this is a live event. So you guys can actually control the, uh, the throttle, if you will. But if I don't get anyone saying no and you guys can follow along, then let me show you what's very odd about the situation. And it's right here. Look at this. Thank you, uh, J-Row, I see you, by the way, saying you're okay. I appreciate that. Encompass Health. 
Folks, this is a healthcare stock on a listing of the top 31 markets that have been mathematically and scientifically proven to have the biggest degree of impact on Southwest. I gotta ask you a question. Would you ever think to look at a healthcare stock if you were analyzing Southwest? I wouldn't. And listen, I retired as a professional. That would elude me. I'd never even think to look at it. That is so far down on the bottom of the iceberg, you'd probably need a submarine to see it. Yet it's there. Folks, if you ever had a stock go against you and you couldn't figure out why, it's probably one of these outliers, something like this right here, like Encompass, because it never even hit your radar screen, because there is no logical connection, yet it still is responsible for driving and impacting the very things that you're trading. Now, let me take this one step further, and I don't want to lose you in this because I want to get into the technology. And I'm going to show you how to make money with this information. But first, I want you to understand that not only does the software find the top 31 markets, right? Then it looks at each one of these markets and it figures out, will this make Southwest go up in value, sideways in value, or down in value? So what it's doing is it is applying a directional bias to each one of these markets. Then folks, it takes it a step further because it also realizes that everything on this list is not going to have the same degree of impact. So it's going to weigh each one of these individually. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. Something like the industrial spider, and obviously that's going to have an impact because that's the equipment that they're using, right? But that may have a pretty decent degree of impact where something like light sweet crude oil on the bottom, that could have a huge degree of impact. So it's weighing each one of these markets differently. Now, here's the best part about what I've just covered. I am going to teach each and every one of you, and this is my commitment to you, and I've got an hour to do this, and I'm pretty good at this. I'm going to teach each one of you how to take all of the information that I've just talked about, and I'm going to teach you how to look at one simple chart. And if you pay attention to this chart and you listen to what I'm saying, I'm going to show you how you can visually inspect a chart, and within about five seconds, you're going to be able to determine with up to an 87.4% accuracy rating whether that stock is about to go up, down, or sideways. I'm going to say that again because I, I talk so quick sometimes. What I'm suggesting to you folks is by the end of this live training, I'm going to show you how you can take all of this information and look at one individual chart. And you're going to know with a very high degree of accuracy, with an incredible degree of confidence, whether something's about to go up or down. And I think for a lot of you, that is going to be a major game changer. And you don't have to take my word for it yet. I'll prove it to you. I'm going to pull up a stock before we leave today, and I'm going to ask you, and let's see if I've done my job. Now, for a lot of you, this is the first time you're seeing intermarket analysis. And I know that this is a big eye-opener for a lot of people because we already know that markets drive other markets but we've never really known how to go out and figure out what's really happening there. We see with the power of the artificial intelligence, we can do this. Now, for those of you that are seeing this, and this is already starting to register and make a little bit of sense because you're saying, well, yeah, I can see how that would impact this or this would, and you wanna learn more about this technology, here's what I'm gonna suggest you do. Head over to your questions box, um, you'll find that in your control panel. That's the way we're communicating with one another. But if you would, go over to your questions box and don't worry, no one else can see your responses. So you don't need to worry about your privacy being invaded. But here's what I would suggest you do. Type in just your first name and your telephone number. You see, we're still open right now. All of our software experts are still on the phones. They're helping other customers. They're explaining how the technology can impact them. But for those of you that have additional questions, I'll make sure that at least you get a return phone call so that you can open up a dialogue with one of our experts. And by the way, folks, here's why you're gonna want to do that. I'm gonna show you one simple way of using this tool, but each of you trade differently. You trade different asset classes, you trade for different durations. And although I'm only gonna show you one way to use these tools, there are endless possibilities, and I want you to understand how you can use these as it applies to your trading. So if you're already starting to understand that this level of analysis is far superior to what you're currently doing, um, head over to your questions box. I want to grab a quick sip of water anyways. Just type in your first name and your telephone number, and what I'll do is um, the moment I grab a sip of water, I'll come back. I'm just going to read your first name. I'm not going to share your phone number or your last name. 
this is the internet. I want to protect your privacy. But what I will do is I promise you'll get a return phone call. So at least you can open up a conversation and you can start to understand further how this technology can benefit you. So go ahead and head over to your questions box right now. Just type in your first name and your phone number. Let me grab a quick sip of water. I'm going to place you on mute just for a moment and I will be right back literally in about five seconds. Okay, thank you so much for that mini break, folks. I really appreciate it. Um, I see names coming in, by the way. Let me call some of these out just so you know that I see them. I see uh, Russell, thank you so much. Uh, Jaro, thank you so much. Uh, Laurel, thank you so much. I see the note that you put as well. Not a problem. And the reason I'm inviting you to put your phone number in is, folks, we're not going to call you and try to browbeat you or anything like that. But you're going to have questions. In fact, every time I do these live training sessions, I leave our audience with more questions than answers. And it's not intentional. I do my best at explaining how this can really have an impact to what it is you're trying to do. But we all trade differently, right? And that's why it's so critical that I extend that communication bridge so that you can understand how this can help you. And you may not see it yet because you're just looking at a bubble chart. But in a moment, I'm going to prove just how well this works. Then you're going to want to learn more about it. Uh, John, by the way, John and uh, Let's see, uh, John, I need your phone number. I just have your name and your state won't help me very much. Go ahead and circle back, put your phone number in. Okay, so folks, what I'm gonna do now is let's have some fun as a group. And by the way, at any point, if you see something you like or something that intrigues you, uh, listen, it, this is not one of those, if you touch it, you bought it things, right? My wife takes me to high, high end stores sometimes and that's kind of the rule. If you touch it, you buy it. Here, you can learn about it. We're not gonna charge you. I mean, if it makes sense to you, you can use it. If it doesn't, that's completely fine. We're not going to charge you for our time. Okay, but what I want to do right now is I've got one chart on the screen. I've got Groupon. I need some more things that we can look at, and I think the best way to prove just how well this works is to have you offer up some things. Folks, head over to your questions box. Load me up with ticker symbols. Give me ticker symbols, and I'm going to choose a couple that we can actually look at. Head over to your questions box. And just, just fire away. I'm going to give you a minute to do that, by the way. Uh, let's see. John Z, I've got you as well. Roger, I've got you too. Thank you so much. I'll have someone reach out to you when we're done. Yeah, so don't be bashful, folks. I'm actually going to show you what the artificial intelligence is indicating. And when I show you how to interpret these indicators, you're going to wish you asked to see more. I promise. So head over there. Put some stuff in. Let's go and uh, analyze some of this stuff real quick. All right. Now they're building up. Okay, keep them coming, folks. Keep them coming. And then I'll wait for it to slow down and I'm gonna go ahead and pull some out real quick. Let me just go ahead and grab a couple things that I wanna look at. All right, I'm gonna look at, uh, all right. So it's not something I trade in, but uh, is that it? Yeah, Bitcoin USD. I don't trade Bitcoin, but I'm happy to look at it. I do understand the technology, I will say that. Uh, let's go with DBD, uh, Dbold, okay. Let's go with uh, MDP. And if we have time, by the way, folks, I know it's later in, in the evening. We've got a lot going on in the country right now. But if we have time, I'll even look at more for you, okay? But uh, let's just see how we do with time real quick. So let me go ahead and get some of these loaded up so I can get us moving forward, and then we'll go with TGT. All right. Uh, oh, that didn't pull up. Do we not forecast for it? Yeah, we do. Here we go. All right. So, folks, here's my question for you. You guys are an advanced uh, – you ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. I don't mean to say guys. But you're an advanced group of traders, right? So my question for you is, if you're not able to use artificial intelligence, what are you using? And I got a question for you. Are you using what I call the usual suspects? And you can see this listing right here, you know, Fibonacci, support resistance, moving averages, Bollinger Bands, I could go on and on. But I'm just curious, is this what you're currently relying on to help you fix your opportunities, you know, to find the right trading opportunities or to fix your timing? Uh, if you're using any of these, just give me a quick yes. And I'm not beating these up, by the way, but I'm curious, is this what you're relying on? You gotta be relying on something, right? <laughs> Russell says, of course, but you know, I talk to so many people and they go, I go off of gut and intuition. I went, well, I'm gonna send you a pack of Rolades because that doesn't work very well over an extended period of time. So of course, you folks are probably using these because this is what's been given to you by your brokerage platform, right? But here's the question. You ever feel like this fellow right here where you're kind of scratching your head? And don't be embarrassed. And the reason I say this is because a lot of times we have trades that work in our favor based on an indicator. And then all of a sudden the indicator stops working. And to prove that point, um, you know, I've got Cisco up on the chart for just a moment. Folks, 
How many of you think you know with a very high degree of certainty whether Cisco is going to go up, down, or sideways? If you truly believe in your answer, go ahead and give me a response real quick. Is this going to go up, down, or sideways? I'm just curious. I'm not seeing any responses yet, and we got a lot of people in the room. Okay, now they're coming in. Laurel says up. Most likely up, says Phil. Uh, David says up. Keith L. says up. Mile says up. John, first one to say down. Thank you, John. Uh, we've got another John, but this one's John Z saying up. Uh, let's see, Russell K. saying down, real empty field. Okay, that's someone didn't register. Uh, someone says down. Uh, Ricky says sideways. Uh, Harshi says sideways. When this uh, was this when it was on cover of Barron's. Laurel, don't let out the secrets, that's not nice. Okay, Wendell's saying overextended. Let me ask a different question. <laughs> yeah, Laurel, these are definitely live. Is anyone confused about what they're looking at? And don't be embarrassed, folks, and I'm gonna tell you why. You should be, and here's why. You know, as a professional that's been trained on classical technical indicators, I can, sh I can assure you of one thing. These things are not agreeing with one another. In fact, they're conflicting one another. And that makes these dangerous. And let me explain why. I'm gonna, I want you to pay a very, very close attention to what I'm about to say. I'm not knocking you for using these indicators, but I am gonna expose a couple of things. So here's the first thing I'm gonna expose. We're looking at Cisco Systems. It's a technology stock, we all know that. Can any of you think of any other technology stocks or any other indices or metal stocks or anything for that matter? that could impact Cisco's price action. If you can think of any other tradable asset that you think would have an impact on Cisco, just give me a yes. You don't even need to name it. Oh yeah, okay, perfect. Wow, and actually uh, the responses that I'm seeing on my side are pretty brilliant as well. And you're most likely right with the responses, but you see, I'm getting a lot of people saying yes right now, and you're even naming things. Here's my question for you. These indicators, are any of these indicators analyzing any of the things that you're thinking about, or are they just looking at Cisco? And that is not a trick question. You see, here's the reality, folks. Whatever we have on this screen, regardless of what we put up on here, on the traditional technical indicators, they're just looking at Cisco in isolation. Here's the problem with that. You see, Cisco is not caught up in a vacuum. It's moving up and down every single second because we're changing our opinions about what's going on with it. What's changing our opinion? Well, the behavior of what's taking place around it. But you see, these indicators are completely and utterly ignoring that information. They're just looking at Cisco. Can anyone see the disconnect there? Think about that for a moment. Now, my dad raised me correctly and he said, look, son, if you're ever gonna say anything and it has to be harsh, say something positive as well and end on a positive note. So I'm gonna do that. These indicators do one thing incredibly well, so I want to pay them a lot of credit. You see, these indicators are the best things in the world at analyzing Cisco's past price action. But you see, that's also a problem because they're looking backwards in time, which means these are lagging indicators. They're just looking at Cisco and they're looking backwards. So here's the, here's the irony here, folks. In order for these indicators to give you a buy or sell signal, Cisco systems has to move in that direction first, then the indicator catches up. Think about what I'm saying. It's a very important point. In order for you to even get a buy signal, the stock's gotta start to tick up first. Then the indicator catches up because the, the price action has already taken place. You see, the formula for these are based on what's already happened. In other words, these look backwards. I'll give you a quick analogy. If you were driving down the road and you had all the windows blocked out in your car and the only thing you could look in was the rear view mirror, you're never gonna see the turn ahead. You're gonna drive off a cliff, but that's what these indicators do. So anyone seeing the disconnect here? I'm gonna give you a better way because we're talking about artificial intelligence. I'm gonna show you some AI indicators that are doing completely the opposite of what the usual suspects are doing. What these indicators are doing, folks, is they're actually paying attention to what really does matter. Now, I'm gonna go through this very quickly, but I will slow down when we get into the software and I will answer questions, so bear with me. But here's the thing I need you to understand. Everything that I'm about to load up on the screen, these look simple, they look familiar, that's by design. 
You see, we spent over $10 million just in the last 10 years getting this to the point where you wouldn't be intimidated by these. And we learned this from the late and great Steve Jobs, not directly, but we learned that the biggest accomplishment in technology is taking something that is incredibly complicated and making it very easy to understand. And for those of you that have Apple products, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They don't even come with instruction manuals. They're intuitive. Well, it took us $10 million to get this to the point where this is intuitive, but thankfully it's there. So do not confuse the simplicity of what I'm about to show you with the power of its predictability, because that would be a grave mistake. So everything that I'm about to load up on the screen, these are different than traditional technical indicators because these are not just paying attention to the stock by itself. They're focused on what's driving it there to begin with. In other words, we've looked at these markets that are driving the stocks and we've removed forecasting data from those markets and we've incorporated those data points into the indicators. So let me introduce you to them. I'm only gonna show you four, I'll keep this simple. Here's the first, it's called a predicted moving average. Now, many of you are a little shocked that the, I use the word predicted, but that's exactly what this is doing. You see a normal moving average just looks backwards and it averages out what something has done. That's not what this is doing. What this is doing, and by the way, it's the blue line. This is filled with the artificial intelligence. This is indicating ahead of time whether we should expect a bullish or a bearish trend. Let me explain how you interpret this thing. When that blue line crosses above the black line, that is the artificial intelligence indicating that it expects a bullish trend to take place. And when the blue line crosses beneath the black line, that's the artificial intelligence indicating that the trend is either over or it's about to reverse. So if you have a notepad, write this down. Look for the crosses. That's step number one. Here's step number two. It's called the predicted neural index. Now you'll notice everything starts with the word predicted. And the reason for that is these are patented indicators, folks. We're the only people on the planet that have them. And these are not looking backwards. They're predicting what's going to happen next with an amazing degree of accuracy. So the predicted neural index is this bar that you see right here. You see that bar right there? It turns from red to green to red to green. It's very easy to interpret, but what it's indicating is whether we should expect strength or weakness in the trend over the next couple of trading days. Here's how you interpret it. Green means strength, red means weakness. It's just that simple. Now hold on to that. So if you've written that down, green strength, red weakness, let me give you the third. These are called predictive differences. And you'll notice that there's three lines on the screen. There's a teal colored line. That's a one day indicator, by the way. The pink is a two day indicator and the navy blue is a three-day indicator. These are indicating anticipated momentum over the next one and two and three days. Here's how you interpret them. If we're in a bullish trend and these lines slope up, expect the momentum to increase. If we're in a bullish trend, but these lines slope down, expect it to decrease over that time frame. So very, very simple. And now, and this one stops the crowd every time, for those of you that trade short term or struggle with your stop losses, you are going to love this indicator. It's actually two indicators in one. Here it is. It's called the gray predictive candle. And what it's doing is it's giving you the next day's anticipated high and the anticipated low for the trading range. Now, I'm gonna say that again because that may have missed some of you. That gray bar does not have any color in it yet. That is the artificial intelligence projecting what it believes the next day's trading range to actually be. And folks, it's incredibly accurate. Here's the thing you need to understand. Everything that I've just loaded on the screen, these are updated every single night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, which means they are giving you a very highly accurate forecast for the next one, the next two, and the next three days. And folks, as I look at my watch right now, it is 7.42 which means the software updated about an hour and 12 minutes ago, which means when we go back into the software, it's gonna show us what to expect for tomorrow. Now, I want you to think about what I just said, and it's gonna do it with a very high degree of accuracy, and I'm gonna be able to prove that to you. But when's the last time you had software that was telling you what to expect ahead of time? You see, the reality is for a lot of you, if you're relying on lagging indicators, you're just trying to guess at what's gonna happen next based on what's already happened. And that's where this starts to change the game.
So sorry for being dramatic, but I love what I do. And for a lot of you, this is going to be a game changer. So, I mean, if folks, if you're already starting to understand how being able to predict ahead of time, how that can help you gain a real edge in the market, or if it's just something as simple as knowing the next day's trading range, like this gray bar, knowing what that stock is expected to do. If you can figure out how to make money with that, then listen, I want to show you how you can use each of these tools to really perfect what it is you're currently doing because you all trade differently. So if you want to learn more about this, as I said, because you're all going to use the tools differently, head over to your questions box. Just drop in your first name and your telephone number. And as I said, we're still working. Our team is still working. I think they're going to be working till like nine o'clock. Um, but if you have any questions, They'll be able to give you a call. They can answer these and then tell them how you trade. Tell them what your concerns are. They'll be able to walk you through how you can use these, okay? So what I'm going to do right now, though, is I want to go ahead and prove just how well this works. So you're going to want to pay very, very close attention. Um, let's see. David, does the Ichimoku cloud also help to predict the next few days as well? No. Um, so, uh, David, the Ichimoku cloud, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of confusion on uh, what the Ichimoku cloud is doing. But the one thing that you have to understand is it's still single market focused. It's only looking at one stock in complete isolation. So it's giving you zones, right? I mean, you can see when it starts to roll over. The problem is there is a huge lag in the Ichimoku cloud. The reason this is so much better is every indicator that I've just covered with you, David, these are actually focused on what's driving the market to begin with. And I got a question. I, you know what, actually, let me pause for a moment before I go in and prove this. Folks, what makes more sense? If you're trying to figure out where a stock's going, should you focus on the stock by itself in isolation and look backwards, or should you focus on the stock as well as what you know is truly driving it? You tell me, both or just one? I'm going to wait for you folks to answer that because this is such an important question that I'm asking. Because people often get lost in the simplicity of the indicators and they fail to realize that what I'm showing you, what I'm sharing with you, these aren't just looking at the stock, looking backwards. What these are focused on is the entire picture. They're focused on the iceberg, folks. So, I mean, if you agree with that, let me know because this is such a big point. And I'm going to go back over and over and over to this. But if you don't agree that the markets are driving the other markets, then you're going to go, oh, this is, this is hock pooey. This doesn't work. This is, this is snake oil. But here's the reality. The government has awarded us two separate United States patents on this technology because it does work. And I'm going to prove it to you. All right, so I think we're all in agreement. I'm seeing the responses come in. So let me go ahead and grab my drawing tool again. Let's go ahead and warm this thing up. Let me start the engines here. Here's what we're looking for, folks. We're gonna take those tools that I just explained and we're gonna use them in unison, number one, to identify the best opportunities, but more importantly, to figure out when we should be entering trades. Watch this. Step number one. The blue line is just crossed above the black line. That is the AI indicating that a bullish trend is expected to take place. Step number two, we're gonna come down at the same point in time where that line crossed. And we're gonna look at this bar. See how that bar is green? That is the AI saying, not only is the trend expected to start to move higher, but expect strength in that trend over the next couple of days. Now we're gonna move down one more step. Look at these lines. See how all these lines are sloping up? That is indicating strength in the trend over the next couple of days. And look at what happens to the position. It rallies. I'm gonna show it to you again. It's so important. All right, so it's a three-step process. Step number one, identify the blue line crossing. You can see it right there on that green candle. Step number two, make sure that this bar right here at that point in time is green. And step number three, make sure that all these lines are pointing up. Once that happens, folks, that is precisely what you're looking for to identify the next best trading opportunity. And look at what happens to the stocks. Now, and by the way, it doesn't matter if we're looking at stocks, futures, currencies, it's irrelevant because the technology is doing the exact same thing. So now that we know what we're looking for to get into a position, let's talk about what we should be looking for to get out of a position. I'm, <laughs> thank you, Mile. Uh, Mile said, this is an awesome tool. You're absolutely right. Um, let me show you what we're looking for to get out. The moment the blue line crosses the black line, folks, I'll give you a real simple rule, out. I'm not telling you what to do, obviously, and the software is not. But what that blue line crossing the black line indicates is that the trend is over. Why would you stay in a trend that was indicated to go either sideways or down if the trend is over? 
You see, if you're trading options, that's the kiss of death. You don't want that. That's going to suck out your time value. But for those of you that do trade options you or that those of you that trade stocks, you also realize, well, wait a second. If I can confirm that a trend is going down, that sets up another trading opportunity for me. Well, here's what you're looking for. If you want to play the downside, use the same sequence that I gave you to the upside. Just flip it upside down. The blue line crosses beneath the black line, indicating a bearish trend. The neural index turns red, indicating weakness. All these lines are pointing down, indicating momentum to the downside. Look at what happens to the stock. Now, simple rule. You can stay in the trend until the blue line crosses. As long as that blue line is still above or below, that trend is still forecasted to move in that direction. Now, why is this so important? Why am I getting so preachy about this? Watch, folks. Let me show you something. I'm going to keep a very simple example. I don't like to use earnings claims ever because you all trade differently, right? And I get that. You all trade different dollar amounts. You trade different asset classes. So here are the rules that I'm going to imply. I'm going to assume that, that we're using a $10,000 trade. For some of you, that might be way too much. For others, it might be not nearly enough. But you can adjust it. I'm just doing this for the math. And I'm going to assume that we buy the moment the blue line crosses above this bar agrees and these lines point up. And we're gonna stay in the position until the blue line crosses again. And let me give you some examples of just how powerful this is. I'm just gonna talk about the upward movements because some of you may be trading in IRAs, you're, you're not trading options and you can't short stocks. So I'll focus on the upside, but for those of you that trade options, you'll see this, it'll jump right off the screen at you. So watch this. Folks, look at this, in 28 days, Groupon, out of all things, GRPN moved up 105%. That's a $10,500 profit in 28 days on a $10,000 trade. Think about what I just said. I'm going to show it to you again because this time it gets a little more interesting, and I'll tell you why. In the next 43 days, about a month and a half, it moved up 96%. Folks, add those two numbers together. We're talking about two and a half months and 200% on your money. Even if you're trading with $1,000 positions, that's a $2,000 net profit minus commissions, of course, but you're getting the idea. The key is knowing when to get in and when to get out. Now, folks, for any of you that have actually caught any of my other live training sessions, I've been following this stock and demonstrating the exact same stock for months. We found it way back here when it began. And every day I would come out and say, the trend is still forecasted to go up. And it ran up 96%. When's the last time you've listened to a guru or someone else come out day in, day out and say, this thing's still heading higher and then see 100% return? That's what I'm showing you. But here's the thing, right now, notice the blue line has crossed beneath the black line. This thing is no longer forecasted to go up. In fact, it's in a bearish trend. This thing, this trend is now over. For those of you that are getting out too late, it's time to exit. However, I want to show you something very interesting. For those of you that are pretty astute, you'll pick up on this. Look at this gray bar, folks, because this is tomorrow's trading range. And you'll notice it's forecasted to be around 36.43 on the low side, uh, about 38.67, somewhere approximately right there on the high side. So this is already forecasting higher lows than the same highs. But over the next two days, it's showing strength. And look at the momentum indicators on the bottom. Two out of the three are already pointing up. It's just a matter of time before this goes back into a bullish trend. But I wouldn't touch it yet. Why? Because the AI has not confirmed it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to second guess the predictor. It doesn't end well. All right, let me move on to Bitcoin. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. All right, folks, pay attention right here. This gray bar, this is vantage point saying, uh, now, by the way, I'm seeing a lot of volatility tomorrow for Bitcoin. Look at this. A predicted low of 34,378 and a predicted high of 37,941. But here's how you interpret this. The blue line is still above the black line. This thing is still forecasted to go up. In fact, look at the angle of the blue line. It's sloping higher. The gray bar is making higher highs and higher lows. In fact, it's scheduled to make a new all-time high tomorrow. How many of you could make money with that if you knew that ahead of time? Look at this bar on the bottom, it's green. Over the next couple of days, this thing is still expected to have strength and all of the momentum is pointing up on this. Now, let me show you why this is so important, folks. You wouldn't wanna buy it now, or at least I wouldn't, but back here where my mouse is, that's where we wanted to get this. And here's why I say this, look at this. 
The blue line crossed above the black line. The neural index turned green. All lines pointed up, and this thing took off. So let's see what it did. <laughs> wow. Now, it's expensive to buy one coin. So if you're trading with a tighter budget, maybe you can't afford Bitcoin. But they have Bitcoin Trust, all kinds of other things. But look at this, 91% in 25 days. Folks, that's almost 100% on your money. That's a $9,100 profit on a $10,000 trade. Notice the pockets of red. Everything this, every time this thing dips down, notice how the software and the tools are showing you, hey, get out of this thing. It's about to go down. You'll see it. It happens again. See this? But every time it's about to rally, because you're also seeing this, look, the last move to the upside on 1019, and it's saying, hey, this thing, everything is agreeing that this is going to go up. Well, wait, actually, one of those lines is going sideways. So let's grab it when the lines are going up. We'll grab it right here. Watch this. So let's come right here where you can clearly see that everything is pointing up on Bitcoin. All of the indicators are in agreement. We'll grab this thing the next day, and we'll just hold it till the cross. Let's see what it did this time. How about another 56% in 37 days? Folks, this is less than two months right here, and you're looking at 140-something percent in profit on Bitcoin out of all things. That's the power of the AI. Okay, I'm going to move on pretty quickly because I know I'm, I'm coming up on time, so hopefully I get a little bit of grace by our host, but hold on one second. Let me try to run through this quickly. Okay, uh, Diebold. Oh, love this. Folks, pay attention. Write this one down, actually. If you're hearing me, you want to grab a notepad real quick, and I'll tell you why. Let's look at the most recent trend that it had to the upside. It started right here, 11.6. Now, you'll notice that at the – let me get right on that cross. Yeah, at the point of that cross, we don't have all these agreeing yet, but right here we do. See, the blue line is above the black line. The neural index is green. All the lines are slanting up now. We could have taken a position right there at that point in time, and we would have held it until the blue line crossed again. Here's a 57% rate of return in 34 days. Folks, that's a $5,700 profit for you options traders. Look back here. Look at this. On 1014, everything was indicating it was about to go down. Look, the blue line's beneath. The neural index is red. All the lines are pointing down. And look at it. It fell. You could see it. It just slid right down. It went from $8.47 down to $6.86. Not a bad way to make money. Now, here's the thing I want to point out, though. You'll notice that it protected us. The software, the artificial intelligence said, hey, this thing's about to go down. But look at what has just taken place literally today. That's why I'm saying you may want to write this down. Let me zoom in just to double, double confirm. Yep, that blue line is above the black line. This bar is green. All these lines are pointing up. Folks, this is the beginning of a bullish trend. Very rare that, I, that one of you folks call something out and I can actually find something as it's about to take off. If you're struggling looking through emails or trying to figure out what to trade next, folks, I'm not telling you to buy this. I can't tell you to buy or sell anything. But what I can tell you with an incredible degree of certainty, Vantage Point is indicating that this thing is about to make a bullish run. You're getting this before it makes the run. Think about that for a moment. All right, moving on. Meredith, uh, MDP. Okay, so this one already started. You can see back here. Look at this, folks. See where, actually, let me get right on the cross. We can see everything's crossing up to the upside. The stock was about 1930, and now tomorrow it's forecasted to go up to $22. Not bad, it's about 10%. But look at this move back here. On 11.4, the blue line crosses above the black line. The neural index turns green. All the lines point up, and look at what happens to this thing. Had you grabbed that position right there, and again, I'm keeping this conservative, $10,000 position. Look at this. You're 76% in 27 days. Anyone seeing the promise of this tool yet? Uh, Sarah, by the way, this is end of day data. It's not real time, it doesn't need to be because it has to pull all of the market information globally. So you're not gonna use this every single hour. You don't need to. It's gonna give you all the information you need at 6.30 p.m. the previous day. Now, if you're a day trader or, you know, the only thing this is not gonna help folks is if you're a scalper, then there's no value here. I mean, you're in and out every second. That's, what a terrible way to live, to be glued in front of your computer screen. But I'll tell you, if you're a day trader, having the next day's anticipated high and low, if you trade for a day or two, having this neural index telling you when to expect weakness ahead of time, having these momentum indicators, and that's why I said it's so critical that if you want to learn how this can help you with your trades, you all trade differently. Shoot over to your questions box. Just drop your first name and your telephone number in. And as I said, when we're finished, I'll have one of our software experts reach out to you. Ask them anything you want. And they'll explain in a very simplistic way how you can use these tools to gain a real edge. All right. So 
Uh, 76%, by the way, that's a $7,600 profit. Uh, Phil saying, is there a scan for the indicator conditions? I'll cover that at the end, Phil. Yes, there is. Um, it just depends on whether it's included or not. And I'll talk about that. Okay, flowers. All right. So first of all, let's go backwards to forwards because I see this thing had a big drop. Look at this, folks. Back on 1019, the blue line crossed beneath the black line. The neural index turned red. All the lines pointed down. That's a great shorting opportunity. Had you taken a short right there and held just until the blue line crossed again, look at this thing. Fell almost a third of its value, 27% in 19 days. For you options traders, that should make a lot of sense. You'll notice that it also has these rallies up, and then when it's scary, it protects your capital. Here's the most recent move on 1214. Notice how the blue line crossed above the neural index turned green. All the lines pointed up, but it touched right here. See that, folks? It touched right there but it never crossed. This is still, even right now, this is still confirmed to be in a bullish trend. And if we look at what this thing's done, let's see what it's done over this time period. 18% in 16 days, not bad. Now expect a little bit of softness out of flowers tomorrow. Why? You'll notice it's showing the same low that it made today, basically. You can see that right there where I put the crosshairs, but it's making a lower high. And you'll notice on the momentum, on a one day, it's showing negative momentum. And over the next two days, it's showing some weakness. You're going to be able to buy this cheaper over the next couple of days, according to the AI. But again, just these two trades alone, folks, do the math on this. I mean, this is where this really starts to build up some steam. Okay, target. Um, obviously, tar uh, Christmas season is probably why you're wanting to look at this. But first thing I can tell you is look at this gray bar. Confidence inspiring. Higher lows higher highs, I can look at this and I go, you know what, I should expect to see about 191 out of target at some point tomorrow. All my momentum indicators are pointing up over the next two days, smooth sailing. But I noticed that it crossed right here, folks, at 171. The blue line went above the black line, the neural index turned green, all the lines pointed up. Had I jumped into that position right there and I just held on to it till today's close. Here's 10% in 10 days. That's a thousand dollar profit on a ten thousand dollar trade probably a lot better on an options trade so hopefully you folks are understanding how to actually interpret this i want to switch gears for a moment because i'm running out of time i'm actually up on the one hour mark and i started four minutes late so i'm going to try to push through this as quickly as i can so please bear with me but i also want to answer questions but i want to introduce you to someone that makes all of this make sense his name is billy look at what he said I'm not, I'm not going to share his entire story, but here's the, the, the synopsis. This guy was losing a lot of money. And he came to Vantage Point. Look at what he says. He goes, you're going to have down days, but you're going to have many more up days. And if you're patient and you trust the indicators within Vantage Point to make smart trades, you'll be successful and make money. Now, the next part's priceless, folks. He goes, my, my advice to traders would be to buy Vantage Point and, and follow me. Don't get too greedy or anxious. Wait until Vantage Point indicates a good buy or sell and you'll make money. What he's saying is trust in the indicators because these aren't looking backwards. These are forecasting and they're forecasting so much data that it's very unlikely they're all going to be wrong at the same point in time. All right. You can trust these. These are different than what you're using. Uh, Reg, love what you're saying. Reg, brush up on technology. Uh, very offensive, but brush up on technology. Um, let me tell you what we've put together for everyone that sees the value in what's going on here. So we're going to give everyone the ability to come on board with a one-year subscription. You'll have access to all of the tools that I just showed you, okay? Now, for the first three weeks, what we're going to do is something pretty amazing. And we do this not only as a favor, but it actually helps our ongoing efforts. We're going to unlock every single thing that the software has. All of the asset classes, the stocks, the ETFs, the futures, the cryptos, everything. The reason we do this is you probably have some things in your portfolio that don't belong there. We want to give you the ability to clean up your portfolio and to run them through the AI first to get a second opinion. All right. Now, we're not going to let you keep everything. However, what we will do is for the first three weeks that we unlock everything, we're going to ask that you evaluate it and then choose one individual market or one individual stock sector or ETF sector of your choosing, and you'll have all the stocks or ETFs included in that ETF sector for the entire year. Now, we're also going to include the Quick Start User's Guide. This is going to give you everything you need to get you up and running as quickly as possible in the shortest amount of time. 
Now, from a training standpoint, we're going to give you access to Vantage Point University. This gives you 20 on-demand video modules so that you can learn the software day or night. But then finally, we know you're going to have questions. We're going to give you access to our team of professional software coaches. This is one-on-one -on -one dedicated support. Anytime you have a question, they are literally a phone call away. Okay, folks? Now, I made a commitment to you. Uh, and actually, I'm going to direct this right at you, Reg. Reg F, I see your comment. So Reg, why don't you go ahead and answer this? Actually, why doesn't everyone else answer this for me as well? Because I told you, I was gonna show you a way where you could look at a stock and within seconds determine whether something was gonna go up or down. Let's put that through its paces right now because we tried that with Cisco with the traditional technical indicators and it didn't work out very well. Let's look at it through the lens of vantage point. Folks, watch this. Let me zoom in. The blue line is now crossing beneath the black line the neural index has now turned red and all three lines are now pointing down. Folks, do me a favor, head over to your questions box. I'm gonna hush up just for a moment. Tell me, it should only take you a, a moment to tell me what's about to happen here. What do you think is now about to happen here now that we're looking with the right tools? Keep going. Uh, if I could have everyone participate, I would really get a kick out of this. Okay, let me show you what actually took place, folks, because I see no incorrect answers yet, unless I missed something. Seems like all of you are saying that it's going to go down. Let's see what actually took place. Yeah, let's short it. There you go. Folks, here's what actually happened. Look at that. I only have two questions for you. Here's the questions. How many times has this happened in your everyday life where you miss the exit, you get back a little here, a little there, and it doesn't seem like a lot, but you are giving away so much profit because you're missing your exit. But the bigger question is how easy was that to, to, to literally look at and determine what you should expect to see happen next? Folks, that is the difference between scurrying and trying to play catch up and doing damage control versus being able to anticipate what's about to happen ahead of time. That is the power of AI. All right, so uh, people are asking for price. Let me go ahead and cover this real quick. We've done something absolutely amazing for the Trade Thirsty Group. What we're doing is we have a very special promotion. I wanna show you just how much money you're saving though. So for those of you that have an interest in using this technology, let me show you what we put together. We're gonna to give you a software license with one sector valued at $2,900 by itself. Then we're gonna give you unlimited online access to Vantage Point University valued at $995. Then we're gonna give you the quick start guide and resources valued at $495. And then finally, and this is actually the best part, we're gonna give you six months of unlimited expert coaching one-on-one -on -one with our coaching staff valued at $1,295. Now folks, this package normally retails for $5,685. We're gonna let everyone come on board today just for attending the webinar for only $1,497. From a savings standpoint, you're saving almost $4,200 instantly and you have Trade Thirsty to thank for that. So thank you. Um, so for those of you that wanna start using the technology, um, head over to your questions box, just drop in your first name and your telephone number. I don't need your last name or your email address. We'll have someone reach out to you. They'll be able to answer any remaining questions that you have. And um, for those of you that actually wanna use the technology, we'll be able to email everything to you in the morning. You're gonna be able to use this tomorrow. And you're actually gonna know with a very high degree of accuracy what the markets are expected to do as far as not only their trading range, but what trends are gonna begin, what trends are going to end, and what's gonna happen over the next one, two, and three days, okay? So take a moment, head over there, uh, drop in your just your first name and your telephone number, and I'll have someone reach out to you. Uh, Sarah's saying, does this work on TOS? Um, I don't see the other one. Uh, Joe, I have your number, by the way. So this is standalone software, folks. Here's the great part about this. This does not have to be used with your trading platform. In fact, it won't work with it because you're not gonna place trades through Vantage Point. This is your research tool. This is the artificial intelligence indicating what's expected to happen ahead of time so that you can run over to your trading platform and execute trades based on your strategy. But keep in mind, 
You're only going to choose your strategy once you know the timing and direction, and that's what this tool is doing. Okay, uh, Joe, I have you. Thank you so much as well. Um, so again, head over to your questions box. Just drop in your first name and telephone number. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly, but I have a couple of uh, things that I need to cover real quick. And um, for my uh, my trade thirsty moderators, bear with me. I only need two minutes, um, folks. I don't like surprises. There is no hidden fee with Vantage Point, but you do need a data subscription, okay? We're not data providers. So we work with a company called Traders Only. They will give you all the global market data that you need for only $35 a month. That's it. That is the only ongoing investment that you'll have. So please write that down. Again, I don't want you to have any surprises. Now, um, I have one more bonus for you. I was gonna talk about all the accolades that we've gotten because you know we've had this product on the open market for 29 years, almost 30 years. Folks, if you think that this is brand new, the institutions are already using this. We have enterprise version of this available. You're going head to head against this in the market right now. You just don't realize it. This is your chance to level the playing field. Um, so I have an extra bonus for you guys. I wanna talk about that real quick. Uh, and Tabitha, no, you did not zone out. I see your comment there. So folks, what I'm gonna do is for any of you that wanna take advantage of the webinar special, I'm gonna have our moderator put a link into your chat feature, not the questions box, but the chat feature. If you go to your chat box, she's gonna put a link that will take you to our secure checkout. And for those of you that don't have time for a telephone call, it'll allow you to buy this online. Um, and then in the morning, everything will get emailed out to you and you'll be able to download and start, uh, literally start using the software. So Tabitha, if you can hear me, go ahead and drop that in real quick. Okay, so folks, I see that uh, I see that blinking. So if you wanna just buy it online and you don't have any questions, you can go to your chat feature. If you still have questions, just drop in your name and your phone number. And as I said, I have one of our software experts reach out to you. And listen, if it's late, uh, put a note in there with, uh, with your phone number. They'll reach out whenever you need them to. But the bottom line is we wanna make sure that we're able to answer your questions. Now, I have one more thing that's very, very important that I wanna cover. Here it is. We have the ability to offer an additional bonus in this package. It's a $295 value. For those of you that want this, here's what we're willing to do. We're gonna give you the concierge service where we can remote in through the internet. We can actually do the software installation for you. In addition to that, we're gonna hook up the data provider for you. Then we're gonna do a navigational tutorial, which means we will literally hold your hand and walk you through the software, show you where everything is. Our customers rave about this. It's something we normally charge $295 for. If this is something that you want added, we'll give it to you absolutely for free, no strings attached. All you need to do is head over to your questions box and type in your first name and type in the words fast action. And that gives you the ability to get that included absolutely free of charge. So it's fast action. Uh, Walt, I see your response saying that the link does not work. Tabitha, if you can hear my voice, would you check to make sure that that link is working? Um, it may be a browser issue. I'm not 100% sure. If someone could go into the chat feature and click on that link, just let me know if they can see it. Uh, J. Rowe, you're going to find the chat feature in the control panel. It's going to be a little bubble icon. Mine has three dots on it. It's red, and it should be flashing. If you click on that, that'll open up the chat feature. We're not using that to talk back and forth. We're using the questions, but that's where she dropped that link in. Okay, and then the final thing that I would say, folks, is for those of you that need additional diversity, we also offer. Um, Tabitha, I see that uh, Scott F is saying it's not working for him either. You may want to reach out to Mike real quick and see if we can get another link. Uh, for those of you that think you need additional diversity, we're also offering a 30% discount off of any of our packages for all of the attendees of this webinar. So for anyone that came to us through Trade Thirsty, you're gonna get 30% off of any of our retail packages. If that's something you just wanna learn more about or get pricing on and it doesn't commit you to it, all you have to do is type in your first name and then type in the words lifetime. That'll let us know to have the correct personnel reach out to you. They can give you the different options and then you can figure out what's best for you. So with that said, folks, I'm gonna open up for a brief question and answer. I want to keep this to a minute or under because I want to be respectful of everyone's time. But are there any questions that I can answer right now before they pull the big hook out and yank me off of the stage? Um, so if you can give me um, 
any feedback or questions that you have, I'll be happy to answer them right now. And if not, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back over to the lovely people at Trade Thirsty and I'll let them wind us down. Uh, by the way, I'll also be leaving the room open if I'm able to. Uh, for any of you that have any questions or maybe you're on the fence, um, our moderator, Tabitha, will stay behind. And that still gives you the ability to drop in your name and phone number so that at least you know we have you on record. We'll reach out to you and we can answer any questions that you have. Okay, so it looks like I've done a pretty good job here. I actually don't see any questions coming through, so that's really good. Um, okay, fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to our wonderful host at Trade Thirsty. So I'll go ahead and sit in the background unless there's some questions. And I don't hear anyone jumping back in. So folks, I'm gonna jump back on for just a moment. That was awkward. <laughs> I hate dead airspace. Um, so on your control panel, um, some people are having some issues with there. Go to your orange arrow, click on that, look for where it says chat. It should just have the words chat. And if you click on that arrow, it's gonna open up a box. Ah, Walt, thank you. Hey, uh, Tabitha, um, so we have just loaded a new link, if I'm understanding this correctly. Uh, Phil, put it in that box that you just put that there, where you said, where do you put fast action? Phil, if you already put your phone number in, just type in your name and fast action and we'll put it on. So folks, I apologize. Evidently, someone had some fat fingers when we were typing in the link for you. They had an extra letter in there. Um, and thank you for uh, Phil for bringing that to my attention, but we've got that fixed. So if you already know, if you already have your questions answered and you're like, you know what, I just wanna do this with one sector. I don't really have any questions. That'll let you buy it online. But for the rest of you that are either skeptical and we had one person that was incredibly skeptical, did not appreciate the comments, but I'll let that slide. Um, you know, if you have additional questions, get answers to your questions. And that's why I extended that offer to have someone from our staff reach out to you. These are experts, folks. Uh, you know, they go through rigorous training. They understand the software inside now, and they can explain very articulately to you how you can use this for the way that you trade. So if you have questions and you're kind of on the fence, drop your name and phone number and we'll have someone reach out to you that can at least explain the questions that you have and then you can make an informed decision. So I don't see any other questions coming in. So at this point, if, uh, if no one else is on the line, I'm gonna go ahead and jump out. I'll leave Tabitha behind. If you have any questions, feel free to drop your name and number in. And with that said, folks, uh, let me leave you with this. There's a lot of uncertainty going on in our country today. Wow, what, what craziness. I watched the news before this webinar and I, my jaw hit the floor. You know, I can't control what's going on in politics and I can't control the market, but what I can control are the tools that I'm using that are navigating my financial future, which is exactly what I'm presenting to you. This is not something we're new at, we are the world leaders. And you gotta ask yourself a question. Even if you're skeptical, what if these work only half as well as I showed you? And, and the reality is they work just like I showed you, but how much of a difference does that make? I think it changes everything. So with that said, folks, look, this is Eric. I'm gonna wish each and every one of you an amazing new year. Thank you so much for attending. Have an amazing rest of the week. Stay safe, stay healthy. And when it comes to your money, as I always say, stay profitable. All right, folks, this is Eric. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, but I'll leave the room open. So if you wanna grab the uh, chat link or you wanna ask a question, you can still do so. Thank you so much, folks. I will see you next time. Thanks guys, have a great night. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed our free online training today and appreciate you spending a part of your evening with us. I will be closing the room shortly, so if you have any questions and would like to speak to one of our AI software experts, put your name and number in the questions box and we'll have somebody contact you shortly. Once again, I'll be closing the room in just a few minutes and hope you enjoyed your training today. Thanks so much.
Hey folks, I will be closing the room in just a couple of moments. So if you have any questions, need some clarification, or would like to review specific stocks one-on-one, -on -one, put your name and number in the questions box. I'll have one of our AI senior software experts contact you. Again, I hope you enjoyed your training today and hope you enjoy the rest of your night. I'll probably be in here one more time before I close it down, but um, just wanted to let you know I'm still here. Thanks. Okay, folks, um, I will be closing the room in just 60 seconds. So if you haven't already done so, put your name and number in the questions box and I'll make sure one of our senior staff members contacts you to have answer any questions you may have. There is absolutely no obligation for any consultation. So um, if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one de demo, they'll absolutely do that for you. Um, thanks so much and I hope you have the great rest of your night and appreciate you spending a part of your evening with us. Thank you.